Okay, so today we are going to see some uh, IPC requirements uh, related to water supply and some basics, some basics of the design. So first basics of the design, uh, what we are going to see, <coughs> location of toilet facility in occupancies other than malls. So normally we can see the, the toilets in the different, 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 different buildings. So mostly the architecture engineer will uh, take care to decide the number of uh, toilets. So location of sanitary toilet facility in occupancies other than mall. So first what they are talking in occupancies other than covered and open mall building. So first requirement is other than mall building. So whatever the commercial buildings, uh, whatever we have other than mall building, we this this concept will work. So they mention the required public and the employee toilet facility shall be located not more than one story above or below the uh, space required to be provided with the toilet facility. So not more than one story. That means what? One example means in the ground floor, one toilet is provided. I mean the floor number one, there is one toilet. Floor number two, no toilets. That means we have the option to skip to one floor toilets. So no toilets in the floor two, but occupants can use those on floor one or floor three. And floor three, there is again toilet. So that means floor one toilets and floor three toilets. So floor two, there is no need to provide the toilet. So like uh, we have the option like this, uh, one floor after that, except then again on floor. So this option as per international plumbing code, we can skip the toilet in between the floors. But practically saying, practically saying in every floors uh, for the for the buildings, we are providing uh, as for the easy convenience, but this, this option also available. So exception. And one more thing here, the path of uh, travel to such facilities shall not exceed distance of 500 feet or 150 meters. Suppose we have a toilet here. So we have a toilet here. If you see the path of travel, the distance, the travel distance. So the overall travel distance must not exceed 500 feet. And here we should have an, another toilet. Okay. So this travel distance they are mentioning within 5, 152 meter or 500 feet, we should have one more toilet. So what is exception here? Exception is um, this travel distance can be increased based on the approval from the or the client okay so but this is the basic rule that every 152 meter in the same floor we have to provide the toilet so uh, in malls so what about the malls in mall what they are telling in open or cover uh, mall building the required public and employee toilet facility shall be located not more than one story above or below again the same concept ground floor if you provide toilet first floor we don't need to provide toilet and second floor we need to provide toilet the concept is same but what makes the thing different is the travel distance the travel distance if you see here 91 meter here earlier it was 152 meter other than mall building okay so this uh, mall building within 91 meter travel distance we have to provide another toilet facility whichever is greater flow drain and trench drain the flow drain shall be uh, constructed so that the drain is capable of being cleaned as shall be provided to the drain inlet radius shall be provided to flow drain so we know that normally we have the flow drain so for example we have one toilet a toilet like this so here we have one water closet here we have one water closet and here we have the wash basin here we have the wash basin okay so this is one separate compartment here there is one separate compartment so how we normally provide the flow drain we provide the one flow drain at this point we provide another flow drain at this point i mean each compartment one flow drain we will provide and we will provide one common flow drain in the center because um, from the wash basin we can connect the pipeline to this point from the wash basin we can connect the pipeline to this point so we will provide the flow drain at um, collection point okay the collection point so now okay flow drain is okay but how we will because now i am bringing here one pipe here one pipe how these two pipe i will connect with the flow drain how we will connect B below the flow drain what will be there p trap uh, p trap you can say floor gully okay like uh, yeah gully trap gully trap so the this floor really we have uh, below the floor drain so here all the side uh, of the inlet connection will come and from there we have one common outlet connection so normally this common outlet which is going from the floor drain this will be normally 75 mm okay there will be 75 mm outlet 
75 mm outer will be there. So all the inlet will come for example this is your uh, wash basin, this is another wash basin. So two wash basin inlet will come and connect with the floor, uh, floor gully, I mean floor drain, below floor drain there is a floor gully. Floor gully, we say, we can say gully trap also. So this connection from the outlet, there will be an outlet connection of 75 mm for the floor gully. Size of the flow drain. A flow drain shall have a drain outlet not less than 2 inches in diameter. So minimum 2 inch outlet should be there but normally as I told you we are providing 75 mm. We are providing 75 mm uh, floor outlet. Okay. So now we are going to talk about some minimum pipe size. So lavatory. Lavatories shall have waste outlets not less than 32 mm. So what they are telling? Wash basin, if you see here, this is the wash basin and this is the wash basin. So this outlet, this waste outlet, what they are telling, minimum 32 mm sizes. Okay, this is what they are telling. Sour waste outlet. So the waste outlet serving servers also minimum 38 mm. So that means what we have to provide for the shower, 40 mm we will provide for the wash basin or the lavatory we will provide the 32 mm. Okay, so there is a difference uh, minimum pipe size. This is for the drainage. Okay, this is not for the water supply. This is for the drainage. Sink waste outlet. A sink shall be provided with the waste outlet minimum of 38 mm. So that means for the sink we have to provide, uh, I mean the kitchen kitchen sink, minimum we have to provide 40 mm. So they are talking about 38 mm minimum. So we have to provide the 40 mm. Then water closer. So water closer there will be two options. Normally for all the water closer, can anyone tell me what size will follow? Normally for the water closer to outlet, 3 one inch ten. or 4 inch? Huh? One four, inch. Four, inch. Yeah, 4 inch. Yeah. So there is one one rule is there uh, as per IPC. Usually we provide four inch, but they are accepting another option also for like this. So this four inch closer flange which is coming from uh, here. Okay, so four inch we will take and it will go like this. From the four inch we can reduce to three inch also four inch by three inch closer to elbow. That means from the four inch connection we can make three inch also. Then we can pass it. As per IPC they are accepting this one. But normally we don't, we don't practically saying we don't follow this one, even though IPC accept this one, we don't follow this one, we directly take the 4 inch connection. But still the acceptance are there as per the IPC based on this point. Okay, we can convert the 4 inch to 3 inch and we can take up the connection. But practically, as I told, 4 inch directly we are taking. Okay, so this international plumbing code chapter 6 is for the water supply and distribution. So this chapter, chapter 6, will talk about the material design and installation of water supply system for both hot and cold water. So pumps shall be rated for transport of portable water. For example, uh, 16 bar, 20 bar. So the pumps rating we have to mention. Then pumps in an individual water supply system shall be constructed and installed. So to prevent contamin contamination from entering a portable water supply through the pump unit. So we have to make sure that the, there is no chance that dust and dust, dust, dirt particles, any particles will go to the portable water line. So we have to provide multiple accessories to filter the portable water before it goes to the supply side of the system. So that is the reason we are providing the multimedia sand filter, uh, we are providing the strainer, we are providing the backflow preventer assembly. So we will see what is backflow preventer assembly. So pumps will be sealed to the well casing or covered with the water tight seal. So proper sealing for the pump body will be there. Sizing of water storage pipe. So water supply pipe, the minimum pipe size shall not be less than 19.1 mm in diameter. So this pipeline sizes we have to follow as a minimum pipe size. The water service pipe and the building sewer shall be horizontally separated by not less than 5 feet. Not less than 5 feet of undisturbed. That means suppose your water supply, your water supply is passing here, your sewer connection is passing here. So the distance between these two, the distance between these two, it should be minimum 5 feet. Okay, should be minimum 5 feet. We have to follow. Water service near sources of pollution. For example, you have to make sure that here what they are telling. Suppose your water supply pipe, is, wherever your pipeline is passing or your water supply tank is there. We have to show, make sure that this water supply pipe is passing not very near to the septic tank or holding tank or any sewerage tank. So it should not pass over the septic tank, below the septic tank, side of the septic tank, left side, right side. It should not pass very near to the septic tank or holding tank. Okay, so we have to make sure this connection when we, when we make the routing for the water supply piping. Design of building, water distribution system design criteria. The water distribution system shall be designed and pipe size shall be selected such that, uh, okay, so under the condition of peak demand. So you have to select the condition based on peak, peak demand. Peak demand means what? 
So peak demand means I told you uh, when, when a person is entering into the toilet, he cannot use all the fixer, all the water pressure, wash basin, bathtub, uh, urinal, all fixer together. So there will be a peak demand. Peak demand means which fixer will consume more water, for example, water closer. So we have to select, consider, we have to consider based on the peak demand. But when we go for the plumbing design, uh, normally what we do, we, we, we consider the uh, overall fixer and the plumbing standard is, uh, ex the plumbing standard has a rule that even though you consider overall fixer, overall fixer, the full water flow will not be taken. Okay, so that we will see in the next class how the water flow is reduced. Okay, so that we will see in the next class. So the minimum uh, flow rate and pressure they have given here. So what is given here, the minimum flow rate and pressure, when you go for the booster pump, booster pump head calculation, you have to consider the last fixer with this, uh, this arrangement. For example, we have the high rise building here. So we have the booster pump. So this booster pump is supplying the water to different sanitary fixer. So with the last, this area, we have the water closer. For example, we have the water closer. So water closer means we need to consider the minimum residual pressure. I mean the last area, what is the pressure? So the minimum residual pressure, for example, you see here water closer, flush wall, water closer, flush tank. There are different arrangements they have given. So uh, similarly, if you have, for example, if you have the lavatory, lavatory means wash basin you have. So if you go to lavatory, you see here the private and public. So private and public, they have given the minimum pressure is 8 PSI. So similarly, if you have the bidet, then 20 PSI. So if you have the shower, 20 PSI. So this is the minimum, minimum. Uh, the pressure requirement you have to consider when you go for the pump head calculation. For example, if I say the lavatory here, lavatory need 8 PSI minimum. So from the 8 PSI, we need to consider when you go for the pump head calculation to size the pump. Okay, so this requirement uh, minimum we need to consider for the pump head calculation for all the fixer. Size of fixer supply, the minimum size of fixer supply pipes shall be as shown in the table. Okay, so what they have shown here, so here they have shown like a minimum pipe size, uh, but uh, be that um, this was a house bib, a kitchen sink, laundry, lavatory, shower, kitchen sink, then urinal. Size of fixer apply, supply, the minimum size of fixer supply shall be as shown in the drawing. We will see that one. The fixer supply pipe shall not shall terminate not more than 30 inches from the point of connection to the fixer. Not more than 30 inches. So the flexible connector uh, must not be not more than 30 inches from the fixer okay so it has to be very close uh, normally when you go for the new design we will keep very close only but sometimes when there is a modification because you, you are doing some modification in the building so that time you will move here and there na? so that is the reason it will change okay so the supply pipes will extend to the floor or wall adjacent to the fixer so the minimum pipe size they have shown here for uh, different arrangements so if you see the bigger size mean water closer you see this point this last one water closer with the plus wall only that one as per ipc is one inch all other connection will come with a half inch, 3 by 8 inch, uh, uh, like that only, 3 by 4 inch, only water closer with the plus wall, need 1 inch connection. So, variable street pressure. Where street pressure, uh, sorry, where, where street water main pressure fluxate, the building water distribution shall be designed for the minimum pressure available. So, we have to make sure that the overall system, the minimum sanitary fixer, uh, pressure is satisfied overall projects overall project sanitary fixer so based on that one only we will design the pump head calculation so whenever water pressure is not sufficient we will provide the booster pump so normally you know that we are taking the connection from the outside and uh, it will go to the water meter cabinet then it will go to the tank so this pressure which is coming from the outside building is not sufficient in most of the cases so that is the reason we are providing the booster pump after this one we will provide the booster pump when the pressure is not sufficient, we will provide the booster pump. Mostly we are providing the booster pump. So, where water pressure within a building exceeds 80 psi, then we have to provide the PRB. So, this rule is very important. Uh, normally, it is asked in the interview also. So, water pressure, if it is exceed 80 psi, then pressure reducing wall or regulator, we must provide to reduce the pressure. Okay, so, a dual check wall assembly or back wall, backflow preventer also we can say. So, what is that dual check wall backflow preventer? Anyone? Have anyone seen dual check wall backflow preventer? For the supply line, for the before the tank, we normally provide as per IPC. Yeah, this one. Yeah, like this. So dual check wall assembly means there should be two isolation wall, there should be two check wall. That is called as a dual check wall backflow preventer assembly. So at least one check wall fail means the another check wall can make the prevention of water. So there should be two check wall, two uh, sorry, two isolation wall, two check wall. Normally where we will provide. So for example, so like this, here you can see, this is the underground line which is coming. 
So here we have the water meter cabinet and here this line is going to the tank. So here we provide the dual check wall assembly. So this is the dual check wall assembly area we normally provide. Okay, so uh, hot water distribution pipe and tubing shall have a pressure rating of not less than 100 PSI. Means overall we have to make sure that the pressure rating you for the hot water system, the pipe for example 100 PSI means is equal to 6.89 or 7 bar. So the pipe which are using for the hot water system, we have to make sure that minimum 7 bar pressure rating is provided for the hot water piping. Okay, so walls shall be compatible with the type of piping material because now we have different type of walls. So we are fixing the wall with the pipeline. So that should be, both should be compatible okay, for the connection. So here we have one example from the IPC. So you can see all the standard is, is about the ASME, uh, ASME, uh, AWOWA. So this all is based on the American standard. But the countries like Qatar, UAE, they normally follow the British standard. So the wall standard will vary uh, compared with the IPC. Okay, there is no rule that only the American standard from this table will be selected for all the plumbing system. There is no rule like that. We can use the British standard also based on the local local requirement to select the walls. So what is so important in the plumbing system? Because so for example, some accessories will come from Europe, or some pipes will come from um, uh, other parts. So for example, if you are coming from Europe, so for example, uh, they will have the British, uh, they will follow the British standard to make the wall. The piping which is coming from other parts, sometimes they might follow the American standard to make the threading for the flanges. So we have to make sure that both are compatible. Okay, both will be compatible uh, to make the flow, uh, to make the connection. For example, we have one, we have one pipeline. Here we have the flanges. Okay, so let's say it is 100 mm diameter. And here we have the water meter. Just for example, we have the water meter. So what will normally happen? This water meter which is coming from some other places. Okay, they, they followed the British standard. And this pipe with the flanges, this flange is coming from the China, for example. So they followed the American standard. So these two will not match now because this water meter flange is different standard. This pipe flange is different standard. So British British standard and American standard. If it is both the different different standard, the, the issue will come normally with the pitch. What is pitch, Ribbon? Hello friends, one minute. We work so hard to collect all the information from various sources to give you best understanding of the subject. Most of the people watch the video but they don't subscribe. Please motivate us by subscribing our channel to post more and more technical videos for you. Thank you. Yeah, you see this this PCD, pitch circle dia. So this pitch will not match if you are if you're trying to match the British standard and the American standard. So both have the different requirements. So that's the reason American standard and British standard, both PCD will not match. Okay, so that we have to be careful when you go for the ordering of the material.